It's just snow melting. It's not like anybody's pee peed or anything, so that's fine. No, don't, don't make that face, it's just water. You bunch of sensitive sallies, I tell you what. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody. Chinek me here. Welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So, I've done a little work. Just a little bit more. Don't be mad. Because I know at first it's going to seem like there is a butt ton of new stuff done. But it is not the case. It is not the case, I say unto you. All I did was I, I dug out a little bit more to get prepped for today. Um, I added some little generator stuff up on top in here. Expanded the sleeping area. And that's basically it. I've been uh, doing a lot of research. Got most of the research done, just a couple of these left over. Um, and then that way we'll get rid of the research stations because we really don't need them. Um, and then, yeah, that's that's kind of the, the goal. I wanted to get it set up. So don't be mad at me, okay? I know some people are like, I want to see everything. No, you don't. Trust me. Because there's a lot of like little, slow, boring, grinding parts to this game. Uh, so anywho... Uh, I've got a new dude, just want to introduce him. Where is he? Where is Dr. Sh oh, he's all up in here. You go and show him to me. Dr. Schmenkel. He's a level 11 runner. So he's, uh, he's pretty good at the athletics and whatnot. So he's pretty good. I like him. Um, but today I wanted to start getting in some, uh, some stuff in place right now. Uh, I've got, this is all of our food, and we've, we've started to have an issue. Um, it says unrefrigerated food, right? Um, and that is, that's a, a problem. It's a problem. And what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to utilize, see how this stuff is like minus 37? It's like really, really nice, nice stuff. What I want to do is I want to incorporate that, and I think, yeah, this is on that level. I think we can introduce a bit of a natural, like, storage system to store the food. That is the goal anyway. So we're going to work on some of that today. So we can go this far out. I'm going to do that far, and then maybe like that. What I'm trying to eliminate is, actually, I might even, let's do a, let's do a slight deconstruct job, or not deconstruct, a cancel job right there and right there. So we can leave the natural, what is this, granite? Leave that natural granite. Because these wheeze warts, the ice, the ice thingies, they don't, uh, they won't grow on natural or on man-made materials. They have to grow on natural materials. So I'm going to leave a, a few of them to do their thing. We're going to do some dig jobbing. Uh, and just like that. So that'll get done. We'll let, we'll let things start doing their thing. So my goal is, I'm thinking I may even put like a, uh, like a door right here to keep, uh, keep things separate. But we're gonna plant a bunch of these planter boxes. Boom, and I guess I'll make these like nine. So we'll, uh, well, no, 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 before we do that, before we do that, I want to put in, is it under refinement? Yes, a fertilizer maker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this fertilizer maker is what we're gonna use don't have a whole lot of space for other stuff now, do we? I may, I may change this around. Yeah, I maybe. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll stick this here, right like that. And what this will do is, it takes dirty water and turns it into fertilizer. And the reason we need that is because these guys over uh, that we're gonna plant these. Uh, right now we've been using mealwood. But when we run out of those, we're gonna need some bristle briars or whatever they're called. And those those need fertilizer. I'm thinking about doing some double double duty with this because everything is nice and chilly, chilly cold here. I'm thinking that might be a cool way to, <laughs> a cool way, to pump oxygen into it, my, my fresh oxygen. 
cool it down a bit and then bring it over uh, back into my base so everybody is nice and chilled out. Speaking of oxygen, not terrible. Uh, the purple is still good, sufficient concentration, right? And this is all doing really, really well. We're gonna take care of this stuff later. Uh, it's not anything that we need to worry about right now, but overall, I like the design of having an oxygen. This is proving my proving my theory. Having some oxygen up in here pushes all the bad stuff out, and it's all going down in here. So life is pretty, pretty good in that sense. Where are you going, baby girl? Oh, she's delivering the algae. So that is another thing. Algae, we're starting to run a smidge low. We've got some here that they can pick up, worst case scenario. But I want to start getting the slime technology going on. Now the slime, uh, back in the day, <laughs> was an issue because the um, because the bio distillers, which where is that? Bio distillers, aha. These bio distillers weren't so great. They kind of sucked pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna put, let's put a one and a two for right now. Um, <clears throat> and these guys, you put in slime and they'll output uh, algae and they'll output dirty water. And so my, my thinking here is if we take the electric wire, I should do something like that. Yeah, and we'll, we'll get rid of that other stuff here in a, in a little bit. One thing we have to keep in mind is uh, <clears throat> the stinking, the stinking uh, electric wires now. You see it says uh, max wattage 1,000 watts. Right now, the current status is 480 watts. And that is because, um, from what, I, what I'm gathering here, is that this does 400 and this would roughly do 100? I think, I think that's what it means. Because um, <clears throat> this thing right here doesn't add up to be, uh, what did it say? What did it say? 480 watts, oh maybe it does. Maybe it's supplying 480 watts worth of stuff. Oh, that might be. We'll find out, um, because if we mess it up, then they'll these things will blow up. And so you have to have different circuits and all sorts of crazy stuff. It's really, really wild. My next immediate goal after this, after we get this type of stuff all set up, is, oh yeah, we're getting snow off of it. That is so cool. Um, <clears throat> is I want to get a coal system in place, I think. But I don't know where I want to put it yet. I want to have like a, a game plan going on. So uh, I tell you what, let me let me let these guys do their things and uh, get this stuff built in and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, so we've got this little area now. These two wheeze warts, what, what they'll do is they naturally make everything cold around it, like I said. Um, this guy has a Weezwort seed. I think it takes like either five or 15 cycles and then this will plant itself. So we don't have to worry about that guy. Um, and then you can see here the temperature is very, very cold. So it's warming up a little bit, but then it goes cold again. Around here is very, 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 very cold. But then over here, it's cold, but not, not terrible. So what I want to do is under food, we'll take a ration box here. We'll take one of these guys, we'll plop it, uh, let's see, we'll make it a, a nine, and we will plop it right here. And then that is where we're gonna store our food. You know what? Let's put two of them. Why not? Because we can. Boom. Okay, now those have been built. Uh, now we can take it and we can put these blossom seeds. So those, those will actually produce more better stuff. Blossom seeds, plants, yes, blossom seeds. As soon as we go through, we gotta do them all. We have a lot of mealweed, but we might as well get these going while we, while we can. And they actually don't mind it being a little bit on the uh, cooler side of things, I think. Let's see, requires fertilizer, ha ha. So now these require fertilizer, which means we need this thing. I moved this over one just for a specific reason, um, but let's also, under plumbing, 
liquid pipes. So what I'm thinking is we'll pump these two for right now into there. Uh, so those will go in. And it'll just go straight in like that. So outputs of these, because like I said, it outputs, um, outputs dirty water. Boy, you best make all this work. Unless you want the beading. Boom. Yeah, and all of these, see, now they require fertilizer. Which is fine, because we have these things going for right now. And by the time these things are done, then we'll be able to put them in here. I think that's not too shabby. I might actually go ahead, since I do need this room, I might go ahead and put some more, at least temporarily. Let's go ahead and go boom, boom, ding, 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 ding. I've, I've yet to really work on, oh, this needs power. Okay. So here's where I haven't done jobs quite yet and I probably should stick. Let's stick one guy on some power where it's needed. Maybe maybe two guys on power, but uh, let's see. So Dr. Schmenkel, maybe he's my power guy just for now. He's also my art dude. <laughs> so we got to make sure that he's the art guy. All right. So that means Dr. Schmenkel should come a running. And he's like, oh, my people need me. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, so he starts running. That means she does her research. And like I said, we are nearly done. This is the last bit of research that we need to do. Then we can completely remove this computer and that computer. Uh, and so life is pretty good. Let's look at the oxygen. Not bad, not bad. You can't beat it with a stick. You notice it says unrefrigerated food. And that is because this guy now has no power because it requires power. We want to get rid of that thing. So what we're going to do is under priority, I'm going to set these as nine. I think that's how that works. So that means they know that they'll get stored there. Maybe. So let's see what happens there. Okay, got de got so deconstructed. Um, and then I can sit and say sweep that stuff. So now they'll put that in too, I'm hoping. Yeah, pick it all up. And then it gets put into there. Boom! All right, so we we noticed there's a little bit of some, uh, some pr uh, t temperature just got raised. And I think that's because they just put hot food in there. I could be wrong. Um, I do want to mop this. It's just snow melting. It's not like anybody's pee peed or anything, so that's fine. Don't, don't make that face, it's just water. You bunch of, you bunch of sensitive sallies, I tell you what. All right, so now, it still says unrefrigerated food, but yeah, see, but it's about refrigerated. Boom. Okay, now's the time. Now's the time in sprockets when we dance. We've got to figure out some, a little bit more uh, priorities. Uh, because right now it's like everybody's everybody like super priority and we don't necessarily want that to be a thing, right? So um, I would say breathing is number one for us. <laughs> so making sure that these are filled are priority nine. And maybe we make maybe we go like priority eight. Okay. So that is gonna be a thing. And then maybe things that are Food related is a seven. Uh, I would say I would say equal to this stuff for breathing uh, is going to be is going to be uh, power. So we'll keep those at eight. That seems pretty good to me. <clears throat> um, she's she's still only doing this stuff, but I'll put it at seven just just in case. And then this is going to get eliminated here pretty soon. Uh, because we're going to put in some bathrooms here in a moment. At least one bathroom we'll put in. Uh, well, <clears throat> we can't really do that quite yet because I need a good place. I need a good source of fresh water. We do have tons of fresh water, and that's not going to be a problem. But uh, what, I'm, what I want to do, maybe not in today's episode, but I'll get it ready, is we need to figure out how to handle this, this uh, geyser. Because some of it says polluted, but I think the I think the water that comes out of the geyser is clean water. It's just all of this is polluted water. 
So we'll have to get get like a a clean environment for it, which I think will mean tearing out around this and putting putting some tiles around. I'm not I'm not honestly sure how we're gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> and I need a way that if it fills up, I don't want it to overflow and flood <laughs> everything we've got in here. So if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know. Okay, let's just see let's just see what happens. This is low on the batteries. Dr. Schmenkel is working on that, but boy, if someone else could run, that would be pretty nice. Yes, thank you, lady, for running on me. So uh, these guys are waiting on resources. Someone will be the delivery person and is going to send the slime over there maybe one day. Now here is where I kind of wish, and you, you can, you can do this kind of a cheaty way. So these doors right now, uh, this is a new thing that, that they've got. Emergency access, all duplicates are permitted to use this door until power is restored, aha. So if there's power to it, then you can set it up where only certain people can go through. And that's kind of nice. I think I, I would like to get to that point uh, because what I would like is to have um, this place to be contained with the nice, you know, air and everything. We've got some power going on and, and all of this will be play, uh, you know, nice decor wherever we can put it. Um, and that would be a place where the dupes can work and live and breathe and eat and not be stressed out. And then there will be a key group of people that would be our, okay, you're gonna go out here and you're gonna, uh, you know, you're gonna dig out clay or you're gonna go over here and investigate that or you're gonna go down here and handle that type of stuff. That's kind of the goal of, of how I wanna get it. Um, and I think we can do that. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. You know, what happened here? I had slime. I thought, maybe not. Oh, maybe I have not gotten slime yet. Why am I an idiot? Oh, geez, yeah, I totally forgot. I don't have slime because we haven't gotten to a slime place yet, I don't believe. Okay, now it's doing things. Now we get in places. <laughs> uh, so I've got all of this has been torn out. We've got a good amount of a little bit of algae, but a good amount of slime. And I think what I'm gonna do is keep making stuff like, as we go up, maybe maybe I go up a little bit more, you know? Just so they'll, they'll keep on trucking and doing things. But right now, these seem to be doing just fine. Um, I've finished with all of our research, so I'm getting rid of this guy and this guy. So we'll be good there. We might be making progress. So this is, this is taking slime. Okay, we're out of power. So someone, someone better get some power up on here. That is a thing. So now let's, let's get some jobs going on. Cause I, in a panic, I said, everybody do jobs. So uh, we know I think Raulina Gomez, since she is done with that stuff, let's go ahead and do, uh, she's power. So she's one of my main power persons. And I think Dr. Schmenkel is also pretty good at the power. I'm hoping, let's see how that works. Dr. Schmenkel, a page in Dr. Schmenkel to the hamster wheels. Dr. Schmenkel to the hamster wheels, please report. Maybe. What's he doing? Where are you going, boy? Oh, he's getting some food. Okay, Raulina's doing it. So, I don't know if I fully explained, but these bio distillers, they've actually fixed them, I think. In the past, they were so bad that they didn't they didn't make any um, any algae. Sorry, wow. <laughs> uh, it You put in a lot of slime and it just sat there and sat there and sat there, but now I'm pretty sure that it's doing pretty good uh, as far as production levels. But we'll see, and, oh, hello. Okay, any of y'all any good? None of you any good. Get out of my life. Uh, someone's not too happy, Becky Schmutz. So usually what I'll do is I'll put, oh, she's already on here. Well, girl, you know better. 
We best get over there. I don't know what Becky Schmutz is doing, but she should be relaxing right about now. Yeah, so I think things are slowly getting there. Um, the next episode, my guess is I'm going to have to figure out... I want to get rid of this business, but it, it feels like... Um, feels like power is the very next thing that we need to work on and I'm, I'm starting to get quite a bit of coal uh, but the problem is the coal generators produce a lot of heat so I want to make sure I've got it in a certain way that it doesn't completely blow up everything so we will we'll see about that I'm thinking I might put it right down here somewhere especially since we already have uh, there's one hatch I don't know did the other hatch die I haven't seen him in a hot minute. Hopefully not. Hopefully he's somewhere hanging out. Oops. <laughs> All right, but fellas, I think that's going to do it for me for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure and drop a like on it. Helps me out so very, very much. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Brush your hair. Oh. <laughs>